Hi guys, welcome back to Susan Ira YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss Cambridge Assessment International Education, Science Stage 3, Paper 2 from 2022. The, this is part of Cambridge Primary Progression Test and total duration is 30 minutes, total mark is 30. Today's quiz uh, will be in question answer form. You'll be given time interval to find your own answer. After that, you can match with the discussion. However, if you have not finished, with your answer, you may pause this video. If you follow this video till the very end, we'll display the full screen of the question only. Uh, if you want to save in the laptop, take a screenshot, or maybe print it out while doing this quiz, you may do so. Let's get started from question number one. Question one, draw a line to match each material, so it's correct. State, at room temperature, milk, oxygen, wool. What is the state in room temperature? Is it solid, liquid, or gas? So you got 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, All right. 1. Let's open up the answer, guys. Here we go. We have milk, liquid, wool, solid, and oxygen is gas. Let's move on to question 2. Question 2 says, pick the correct sentence about the earth and the moon. The earth move around the moon which one is correct so only one sentence because the correct sentence the earth touches the moon the moon and the earth the earth do not move the moon moves around the earth 10 seconds from now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay let's zero. reveal the answer guys here we go, so the moon moves around the earth. Let's take a look at the explanation for a while. So if you see uh, the diagram of the earth, the moon, the earth, the moon is always moving around the earth in a period of around 28 days for to complete one circle, All right? Next, so we say the moon moves around the earth and the earth. And another explanation uh, we have to know is the Earth move around the Sun. All right, next we get back to the question: the Moon move around the Earth. Next we go to third question. Question three a: Priya investigates forces measuring equipment bucket. A: Name the measuring equipment used to measure force. Ten seconds from now. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Right, guys, let's open up the answer. Okay, so the name of this equipment is force meter. Let's move on. Here we go in our question 3B. The same question about Priya. Now, Priya adds water to the bucket and measures the force. She writes the result in the table. Volume of both her bucket. Water added to the bucket in milliliters 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Force in Newton is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Newton. Question, complete the sentences about the patterns in the results. The force of the empty bucket is something Newton. As the volume of water increases, the force blank. When the volume of water increases by 100 milliliter, the force changes by how many Newton? So you got 10 seconds from now? 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, all right, like, uh, you have not finished, you may pause this video. Let's open up the answer. Okay, guys, so the force of empty bucket is 2. We see when 0 milliliter of water is added, the force is 2. Now, as the volume of water increases, as the volume of water increases, so the force increases. You can see that from the data, this go increase and the number also increase so that's what is answer increases when the volume of water increases by 100 milliliter the force changes by so from here to here is added by 100 100 100 so the volume of water changes by 2 2 3 is 1 3 3 4 is 1 so it added by 1 newton that is the explanation we hope it's clear if there's any question please feel free to write down in the Comment section if you open this video through Susan here YouTube channel. Let's move on. 
Okay, question four. There are different types of animals. Question A. Mike has a pictures of an animal. Complete the sentences. This animal is a fish because in the picture I see it has what? 10 seconds from now. Uh, let's open up the answer, guys. Alright, so the animal is a fish because in the picture I see it has fins. Yeah. Let's check the diagram of fish. Here we go, just a quick refresh. Um, this is eyes, mouth, head, gills. Gills, fin, tail. So this is diagram of fish. So we hope it's clear for this one. Next. Alright, question B. Yuri has a picture of an animal. Complete the sentence. This animal is an amphibian because I, in the picture, I see it has blank. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, guys. Let's open up the answer. Okay, so it, I see it has smooth, smooth skin of the amphibian. Let, let's check. The structures of amphibian. Okay, this is a picture of amphibians. They are small vertebrates that need to live in moist environment to be able to survive. So included frogs, toads, newts, and salamanders. The main characteristic are they are vertebrates. Skin is smooth and slimy. You can see here they breathe using their lungs and also their skin. They are cold blood. They spend part of their life in water and part on land. So we hope it's clear. Next, okay, for question five. Here are the properties of some materials A, B, C, and they are all solid. And is it magnetic or not magnetic? It's written not magnetic for A, magnetic for B, and not magnetic for C. Is it soluble? Yes for A, yes for B, and no for C. Question A. A mixture contains materials A and B. Describe how to separate A from B. Got 10 seconds from now. 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's open up the answer, guys. Okay, for A and B, different is A is not magnetic, B is magnetic, so we can always separate them using a magnet. Let's see the pictures. Here we go. This is an example of magnetic separation. So if we have sulfur, we have iron filling. So they are both solid and if by accident if we mix them and how to separate sulfur from iron fillings, you use a magnet and the iron will be attracted to the magnet, leaving the sulfur behind. So we always clear next. Here we go now we are in 5B, a mixture contains material C and water. So this is C. So describe how to separate C from water. 10 seconds from now. Alright guys, if you have not finished, you may pause this video. Let's open up the answer. Okay, so we can filter because C is not soluble in water. We can filter to separate C from water. Let's, let's, let's check the pictures. If we go, this is process of filtration. If we have sand and water mixture, sand is not dissolved in water. Then we can use filter paper and filter funnel. Then what will happen? The sand will be retained here as residue and filtered water will pass through. So that's how we separate them, the sand from water. So that's how we got the answer. Separate solid that is not soluble by, we can filter. Right, so we can filter the mixture. Next, now we have question six. Look at the four objects and the four torches. Which diagram shows a shadow being made? Circle the correct diagram. Is it the first, the second, the third, and the fourth? Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Alright guys, let's open up the answer. Here we go. We circle this one as the torch is facing the object and the shadow will be made. For these two, 
the, the torch is facing the other the opposite direction so it will not create shadows for this and this one and for this one uh, the torch is facing the glass with water but the water is transparent so it will pass through and it will not be blocks when the light is not blocks it will not form a shadow but this one the torch will shine on the box and the box is opaque so it will block the light from the torch and it will create a shadow let's check the diagram so we can see that uh, the torch facing the object and because the light is rays are blocked so it will create shadow in here right we hope it's clear the shadow is formed as the result of the light are blocked by the opaque object right next Question 7. Butterflies have a life cycle. So write down each stage of the life cycle on the diagram. Choose from the least adult caterpillar. Chrysalis egg. So 1, 2, 3, 4 slot. We have to put 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Okay, guys, let's open up the answer. Alright, so this is egg and it grows into caterpillars and then chrysalis. Or uh, next, move on to you grow into an adult. So here we go a uh, more clear of butterfly life cycle from egg grow into caterpillar or the other name is larva and grows to chrysalis or the other name is pupa and it grows to adult. Alright, so from egg. Larva, pupa, adult. Okay, we have question B. Aiko counts the number of different colors. Butterflies, she writes the results in her notebook. Red, blue, white, green, with tally. So complete the table to show the total number of butterflies of each color. Red, blue, white, green in here. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, let's open up the answer. Okay, friends, we have red six. How do we know it's six? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this one is five plus one is six. Blue, one. This is five plus one, two, three, four is. 4, 5 plus 4 is 9, this is white, only 1 of this, so this is 5, green is only 2, so that's how we got our answer, next, we go, we are in question C, Aika uses a book to find out the name of the white butterflies, the white butterflies are called cabbage butterflies, how many but cabbage butterflies does Aiko count, 10 seconds from now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Four, three, two, one. Okay, let's check the answer. It's five. White butterfly. White is five here. Five. That will be the answer. Easy, right? If you have any question, please feel free to write down in the comment section in Susan here YouTube channel. We'll explain to you further with another uh, video. Next. All right, we are in question eight. Planet Earth is the source of all materials we use. Question eight. The name of one of these materials is a natural natural gas. Write down the name of other material. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, let's open up the answer. So question A is you can write metals for any other possible answer. If you have any other option and you need to clarify, please feel free to write down in the comment section in Susan Hira YouTube channel. Next, we go to 8B. Here we go, question 8B. Natural gas is useful. It is used to cook food. Write on one other use of natural gas. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, guys, let's open up the answer. So we can answer a uh, natural gas. It can be used for generating electricity. However, if you have any other and you may write down in the comment section. Next, we go for 8C. We go, this is 8C. Natural gas is used to cook rice. Complete the diagram to show how natural gas is used to cook rice. 
10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, let's open up the answer, guys. So we can just draw a fire to heat the rice, to cook the rice. So natural gas can use, be used to create a fire. Examples in is LPG that we use to cook at home. All right, next. Okay, we are in question nine. Water is liquid at room temperature. Water is solid ice in a freezer. A, which sentence is correct for water at room temperature? Circle the correct answer. Water is easily squashed. Water is thin because it is blue. Water may be cut into smaller pieces. Water takes the shape of container. So circle the correct answer. Only one. Ten seconds from now. Ten. Alright, let's open up the answer, guys. So it's clear that water takes the, takes the shape of the container here, like this. If you pour in a glass, it will shape S glass, matching with the glass shape. Now, water is not easily be squashed because water is already the particles already close to each other. But gas is easily squashed. Water is thin because it's blue. No, because it's transparent. Uh, Water may be cut into small pieces. It's not possible because water is liquid. You cannot cut liquid water, but you can cut ice. Next. All right, so question B, which sentence is correct for solid ice in the freezer? Correct circle, the correct answer. Ice is easily squashed. Ice is seen because it is blue. Ice may be cut into smaller pieces. Ice may flow and is easily poured. 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, right, let's move on zero. and open the answer. Okay, so ice may be cut into smaller pieces. Ice may be cut, so ice is not easily squashed as it's already solid. Uh, and ice do not flow. Right, next. Okay, guys, so uh, question 10. Sophie investigates friction. She puts a car on the ramp and takes her hand away. So the car moves down the ramp and onto the floor. She measures how far the car travels. Question A, Savia wants to increase the friction between the car and the ramp. Describe one way Savia increases the friction. 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2. Alright, let's open up the answer, guys. So the answer is she can use a rougher surface to increase the friction. She can use a rougher surface. Right, next. Okay, guys, question B, Savia increases the friction. So, predict what will happen to the distance the car travels. 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1. Alright, let's open up the answer, guys. So, the distance the car travels decreases. The distance the car travels decreases as it's a rougher surface. So, it works against the movement of the car, so the distance will be decreases. Next. All right, we are in question 10C. The same about Safia. What does Safia do to make the investigation of fair test circle the correct answer? Is it increases the height of the slope? Is it repeats the ex investigation? Is it uses the same car or writes the results in a table? 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, Alright, right, let's open up the answer, guys. Well, the correct answer will be uses the same car to make it fair. So, uh, because she investigates the friction, other parameter has to be kept the same or, or other variable. So, she only changed the service by using the rougher service and the car remained the same. The height of the slope remained the same. And so, this is a... Uh, has to be kept the same. Same car. Repeat investigation is not correct as a uh, repeat investigation is as a purpose of um, making the experiment more reliable to get more reliable data. All right, next question eleven. Here we go. We have Carlos has a plan. Plan with healthy roots. Plan with damaged roots. 
Question 8. Describe what has happened to leaves when the roots are damaged. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, guys. Zero. Let's check out the answer. So we see that the leaves wilted. When the roots are damaged, the leaves wilted. Next. All right, if you have any other uh, answer, you may write down in the comment section if you need to clarify your answer. Next, we move on to 11B. All right, 11B. Explain why this has happened to the leaves when the roots are damaged. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, guys. Uh, let's open up the answer for this one. So damaged roots take in less water than healthy roots. So why the leaves wilted? Next, All right? We see question twelve. The moon is seen from the earth. What is the best time to see moon? Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Let's check the answer. So uh, when it is dark, it's the best time to see moon. Because then we can see clearly at all. Next question B. The picture shows the moon. Describe what the surface of the moon looks like. 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we've got your answer, guys. Let's check out. Well, it shows that uh, it has many craters here. Right. Uh, however, if you have any other option, you may write down in the comment section for your uh, answers. Next. Okay, guys. Uh, question 13. Rajiv makes tea. He adds hot water to tea leaves. Teapot and this is tea leaves. Question 8. The substances he uses are solids or liquids. Circle the correct and sentence. The tea leaves and hot water are liquids. Is it correct? The teapot and hot water are liquids, is it correct? The teapot and tea leaves are solids, is it correct? The teapot is the only solid, so you got 10 seconds to choose one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, let's uh, check out the answer, guys. Here we go, so the teapot and the tea leaves are solid. Teapot and tea leaves are solid, while the hot water are liquid. That's all. So this is the correct answer. Next. Okay, now we're in question 13b. Rajiv writes down what the tea looks every minute. What type of investigation is he doing? Circle the correct answer. Is it classifying, fair testing, observing over time, or research? 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, all right, guys, let's check out the answer. So it's observing over time as you write down the T looks like every minute, right? Next, let's move on to C. Rajiv adds sugar to the tea and stirs the mixture. Predict what happens to the sugar. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's check out the answer, guys. Okay, the, the sugar dissolved in the mixture. We hope you got it correct. Right, so because we drink tea often or frequently. So the sugar dissolved in the mixture. Because sugar is dissolved in tea. Next, question 14. An object is cut from cardboard. A shadow is made using this object. A. Draw a line to match each object position to its correct shadow size. Object very close to light. Object close to light, object far from light. Is it the shadow size? Is it small, medium, or large? 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, guys, let's check out the answer. So, object very close to light will produce large shadow. Object close to light, medium, and object far from light, small shadow. Let's check. So we can see here that the 
when the ball is far from the torch. The sh shadow is small when the ball is closer to the torch. The shadow becomes bigger. So, so as we move the ball nearer to the torch, it will create even bigger shadow. If it's far away from the source of light, it will make smaller shadow. That the reason is, as the ball is far away from the torch, less lights are blocked. Less light rays are blocked by the ball, so that's why it creates smaller shadow. When it we move the ball nearer to the torch, more light rays are blocked. So as more light rays are blocked, it will create a bigger shadow. Next. All right, now we are in a question 14b. The same size object is cut from a piece of clear plastic. The object does not produce a dark shadow. Explain why. 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Let's check uh, the answer, guys. So clear plastic is transparent, so that's why it doesn't produce sh shadow. To create shadow, the light has to be blocked by something that opaque. So that's the end of the question. So we are done with our discussion today. As uh, we said at the beginning, we'll display the full screen page of the question paper this is page one this is page two you would like to take a screenshot this is page two question one and two All right let's 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 move on to page three question three a this is question three a and b the full page now this is the magnification three a three a and this is three b three a and b Right. Next, this is question four A, and that is four B, four A and B. This is zoom in four A, and this is four B. Next, we move on to question five A B, five A B, and there's question six. Next is question seven A. 7a and this is question 7b and c 7b and c next is question 8 a b c and followed by 9 a b 9 a b 9 a b next is question 10 a b and Question C, 10 A, B, C. This is question 10 A, B, C. Next is question 11 A, B. 11 A, B. Next is question 12 A, B. Followed by question 13 A, B. And C. This is the zoom in. Question 13 A and 13b and 13c next is question 14a and 14b 14a and b so you can pause and take screenshot so that's it for this paper so today we have discussed science progression past past paper 2022 stage 3 uh it's paper 2 cambridge primary stage 3 please check link that at the description so you you may see other useful links as we provide links for solve past paper from grade 3 up to grade 12. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you will not miss any of our latest uh, release or latest update video for uh, solving past papers. Uh, do subscribe to Susan Hero YouTube channel, like and share to anybody who might need because it is absolutely free. And if you're interested to join with our study with online tuition, please email us. And Or if you have any unsolved past paper, please do send us so we will see what we can do for you. Be careful for all these syllabus and subject. Bye bye, and see you in the next video. We hope today's discussion will be helpful to you, and God bless you. Please feel free to write down in the comment section if you have any question, idea, inquiry, or request. Bye bye, guys. See you.